I wonder what shoes will leave my store today. Oh, hello boys and girls. Welcome to my shop. My shop is called Socky's Sock Friends. Because socks and shoes are my friends. We go together like pap and nyama, like mac and cheese. Hi, Socky. Hello, Asha. Hi, boys and girls. It's good to see you today. Socky, I hope you can help me. I'm looking for some shoes. I'm going fishing with some friends and I just do not have the right shoes for fishing. Hmm, well, I'm sure we can find something here that will be perfect for you. Boys and girls, can you help me? Yay! Yeah! Let's help our friend Asha here find perfect shoes for fishing. Hmm, let me see. I'll show you some shoes and you can tell us which ones are perfect for the job. Thank you so much, everybody. That would be great. I really appreciate the help. Let's see. Do any of these right here work in the water for fishing? No! Oh, dear. You're right. How about these shoes? Hmm. Well, Socky, I guess I could wear flip-flops in the water, but I'm afraid that they would come off my feet and get washed away. Okay, let's try again. What about these kind of shoes? The boots. Those are perfect. Thank you for helping me to find the perfect shoe, everyone. I am so glad that we found the right pair just for you. I'm glad that you're the one taking these shoes because all these shoes are my friends and I like to send them to a good home. And I know that you will take care of my boot friends. Ah, oh, thank you, Socky. It's nice to have friends, isn't it, Socky? That's right. I was thinking, could I tell you about my best friend, Jesus? Yeah, I would love to know about Jesus. Friends, I'm so glad that you're here today to hear this amazing true story from the Bible about our friend, Jesus. Today's story begins with two fishermen named Peter and Andrew. What were their names? Peter and Andrew. That's right. Peter and Andrew were fishermen. Boys and girls, can you please help us cross the line like this? Now, do it with me. Three, two, one, go. That's very good, but oops, I forgot. They didn't fish like that. They would actually use a big net when they went fishing. Wow, look at all that catch. You can catch a whole lot of fish in that net. You sure can. Let's pretend to fish like Peter and Andrew did. Like this, pick up the net and throw it. Oh, it's so heavy. Boys and girls, can you please help me throw the net into the sea? Three, two, one! Great job, everyone. Now, what do we do next? Well, once your net is in the water, you have to be really still and quiet and wait for the fish to swim into the net. Okay, I think the net is full now, so please everybody help me pull it up. Hold the net on three, two, one, pull! One more time. Three, two, one, pull. We did it. We went out fishing, just like the fishermen did. Exactly. Peter and Andrew were fishermen, and they fished every day. One day, Jesus walked by, and they knew who Jesus was. They knew he was special and an amazing teacher. Jesus looked at them and said, come. Follow me. Wow! Jesus, the Son of God, wanted to be friends with the fishermen? He really did. He wanted them to follow him. Andrew and Peter were so excited that they left their boat and their nets and started following Jesus right then and there. Later, Jesus saw two more fishermen named James and John. What were their names? James and John. You got it. 
James and John were in a boat fishing with their dad when Jesus saw them. He said to them, Come, follow me. Do you think they left their nets behind to follow Jesus? If you do, say, Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Yes, they did. Jesus wanted to be friends with them too. They were so happy that they got out of their boat and followed Jesus. These four fishermen, Peter, Andrew, James and John, followed Jesus and became some of his really good friends called the disciples. And do you know what the best part is? What is it? Jesus wants to be friends with you and you too. Jesus wants to be friends with everyone. We can all follow him. When I ask who can be friends with Jesus, you can say everyone can be friends with Jesus. Ready everybody? Who can be friends with Jesus? Everyone can be friends with Jesus. That's right. Everyone who wants to can be friends with Jesus. Okay friends, it's time to pray. Let's close our eyes and thank God for sending Jesus to be our very best friend ever. Dear Father, thank you for sending Jesus to be our friend forever. And thank you so much that we can all follow you too. You are wonderful. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Wow. Jesus told lots of people to follow him. He wants to be friend with everyone all the time. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Got it. Got it. You know what else is really cool? Jesus told the fishermen to come and follow me. And he tells us that too, right in the Bible. Say this with me, everyone. Come. Come. And follow me. And follow me. Jesus said. Jesus said. Matthew 4 verse 19. Matthew 4 verse 19. Let's say it again. Come. Come. And follow me. And follow me. Jesus said. Jesus said. Matthew 4 verse 19. Matthew 4 verse 19. Let's try and memorize that this month. That's a great idea, Asha. Boys and girls, Jesus wants to be your friend forever. So let's sing one of our favorite songs together now, all about that. See you next week. Bye. Jesus wants to be my friend forever. Jesus wants to be my friend forever. I can talk to him. Oh yeah, oh yeah. When I run and play. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I can sing to him. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Every day I know Jesus wants to be my friend forever. Jesus wants to be my friend forever. And I know he cares. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Even when I'm scared. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And he hears my prayers. Oh yeah, oh yeah. He's always there. I know Jesus wants to be my friend forever. Jesus wants to be my friend forever. Shout it out, he's my friend. Hey! Shout it out, he's my friend. Hey! Shout it out, he's my friend. Jesus wants to be my friend forever. Jesus wants to be my friend forever. Jesus wants to be my friend forever. 
wants to be my friend. 